Welcome back to Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the Abcore WAB400 Abdominal Machine. Stay tuned. I will start off by saying that this is not the ab core that I wanted to get. Unfortunately, before placing this order, I had not educated myself enough on the two ab core models. There's this one, which is the WAB400, also known as the ab core junior. This is a residential grade piece of equipment. And then there's the total ab core, which is the one I wanted, which is a light commercial grade piece of equipment. And before placing this order, I just thought the two machines were known as the ab core and the ab core junior. Initially, I was a little down on this machine, but the more I use it, the more I like it. And this is my first dedicated ab machine. Prior to getting this machine, I had the PowerTech VKR, which I mainly used for the vertical knee raise option. I also used the Ironmaster Superbench Pro with the sit-up attachment and the IM2000 to train abs. And at one point, I had the Rogue Abram GHD. But sit-ups on that felt like it strained my abdomen due to the stretch when laying back. And before I sold it, I thought I gave myself a hernia. And then when I was training in commercial gyms, I used the free motion, techno gym, and life fitness abdominal machines. But when I was buying an ab machine for this gym, I did not want a selectorized machine because this will eventually be going upstairs in the bonus room. I think the abs, like any other muscle group, should be trained with progressive overload in a safe and optimal manner. Further, a strong set of abs may reduce low back pain, decrease your chance of injury, and a strong core can improve your performance in all of your other lifts. However, I would not expect a machine like this to give you a set of six pack abs unless you get your body fat low enough to make those abs visible. So I wanted to get a converging ab machine with some of the money that I made from selling more than half of my home gym equipment. And I remember in the comment section for one of my videos, Chris M, who contributes a lot of great information to this channel, mentioned the ab core. And prior to his comment, I had never heard of the ab core, but he placed it above some really good machines like the Nautilus, Medex, and the Hammer Strength Selectorized as being one of the best ab machines, if not the best ab machine that he had ever used. As a result, I put the ab core on the short list of ab machines that I considered getting. First, I was very close to getting the Fettle Fitness Ab Oblique Crunch, but it is a very large machine. I also considered the Hoist Rocket Plate Loaded Ab Machine. However, I remember Chris's comment about the Ab Core and went to Fitness Equipment Empire, which is a website that usually has rare and really hard to find machines at discounted prices, and they had it. Fitness Equipment Empire is the same place I got the Nautilus 2ST Super Pullover and the Cybex Abductor Adductor Machine. The website's description called it the Ab Core and said it was hands down one of the best ab machines on the market. The machine was listed for $1,250. I then contacted Jeff, the owner of Fitness Equipment Empire, and asked for a shipping quote. And as usual, Jeff was very quick to reply. He told me $315. And as a returning customer and someone who reviewed Fitness Equipment Empire in an old YouTube video, I asked what the best he could do for me was. And we eventually got to a price of $1,100 plus the $315 in shipping for a grand total of $1,415. On September 23rd, I placed the order for this machine. And then on September 27th, I contacted Jeff and asked if he could give me the tracking info, to which he replied, the shipping company would contact me. To which I replied, please, if at all possible, supply me with the tracking info so I can have some idea as to when this machine will come. To which he replied, he would try, but he is extremely busy and short staffed. Now I have ordered a lot of equipment from a lot of places and this is the only company that has never supplied me with a tracking number and it was the same way with the pullover and the abductor adductor machine. On October 4th, after not hearing anything back, I called Fitness Equipment Empire and asked for the shipping information and I got it and to my surprise, the machine was already in my hometown and scheduled for delivery the next day. I was given a delivery window from 11 to one and as I watched the tracking on the day of the delivery, it went from 12, to two, to four, and the truck was finally pulling in the driveway at 4.15. I got the machine in eight business days from the date I placed the order, which I thought was very good and faster than Fitness Equipment Empire normally ships. In my last video, I mentioned I had a tractor trailer driver back into my driveway without issue, while some people driving box trucks have trouble. But I do think this driver was in training as there was a second person in the truck who seemed to be more familiar with all of the equipment and the one who switched seats and backed the box truck up. I am very glad I was here for the delivery because the first driver started to unload a tool cabinet. I then finally got eyes on the machine and was pretty impressed with the packing job. Fitness Equipment Empire did a good job of wrapping the pallet and machine with multiple layers of plastic. I was a little surprised the machine was on a smaller than usual pallet and the machine looked to have a pretty small footprint. 
Aside from a couple of the end caps being off, the machine looked to be in great condition. Being that it came from Fitness Equipment Empire, it is used, but the website's description said it was a floor model. However, when I cut into the plastic and got a good look at everything, I noticed I was missing a weight horn. To be more specific, I thought I was missing two weight horns. I contacted Jeff and told him what I was missing, and he genuinely sounded upset. He then put me on the phone with his office manager, who apologized and promised to take care of everything very quickly. While this was a little frustrating because I wanted to test the machine out right away, stuff like this is going to happen when you order enough equipment, and ultimately it's not that big of a deal. It's just how the company handles the issue. To assemble the machine, I had to disconnect the roller pad and attach the handles, which only took a couple of minutes. My wife says this thing looks like a bug, and I have to agree. While I had to wait to get the weight horns, I still wanted to test the machine, so without any weight at all, it was way too easy. There is no doubt I could do 500 to 1,000 reps. So I figured out a way to add resistance to the machine using the stopper peg from the Titan Fitness Seated Leg Curl Leg Extension Machine. I took the covering off the metal and bolted it onto the back of the machine and then added the Iron Master 22 and a half pound plate, which has a one inch hole. 22 and a half pounds seemed way too easy also. I then added a second 22 and a half pound plate, which took up almost all of the temporary plate post, and it was challenging enough, but it didn't leave a lot of room to continue to add weight. I then decided to add a band around the frame and post and this is exactly what the doctor ordered. I found myself extremely impressed with the machine as it felt smooth, effective, and challenging. A day or two after receiving this machine, I contacted Fitness Equipment Empire to see if they had found the weight horns and if they had shipped. Fitness Equipment Empire told me that there was only ever one weight horn for this machine and it had shipped. At this point, I started to investigate why there was only one weight horn for this machine when I thought there was supposed to be two, one to load and then one to serve as a counterweight down on the bottom. It was at this point I realized that I did not have the light commercial grade model that I wanted, but I had the residential grade model. I went back and looked at the original listing, and then I realized I did not look at the pictures closely enough. If I would have scrutinized the original listing just a little bit better, I would have realized that this machine only had one plate post, and it was a standard plate post, further proof that this is a residential grade machine. Technically, I don't need the counterweight option that comes with the total ab core because I don't need assistance with this exercise, so I'm mainly missing out on a higher end fit and finish. Information on the Abcor machines is pretty hard to come by. Abcor still has an active website with a phone number which I called and an email address which I emailed, but I didn't hear anything back because the company is out of business. I then searched Amazon and Google and found out that this machine, the WAB400, also known as the Abcor Junior, had an MSRP of $899 but usually sold for around $750. It has a max loadable weight of 50 pounds. And as I mentioned earlier, I was originally pretty down on this machine because I did not want the residential model. The very few pictures and information I could find for the Total Lab Core showed that it had an additional head pad, storage posts, Olympic weight horns, and more welds and less plastic end caps. The earliest Amazon review I could find for this machine was in 2008, and the latest was in 2018. As I was learning everything I think there is to learn about these Abcor machines, I contacted Jeff and said, why did you have this listed as the Abcor when it's the Abcor Junior? Jeff emailed me the manual for this machine, and it is in fact simply called the Abcor. Also, I didn't think Fitness Equipment Empire sold residential equipment. The Fitness Equipment Empire Instagram only mentions commercial grade equipment. However, the official website mentions commercial and residential equipment. Jeff offered to absorb the initial shipping cost if I would pay return shipping, which I thought was really cool of him, but I didn't want to go that route. The information for these Abcor machines is just really hard to come by because Abcor is out of business. I mentioned earlier that shipping mishaps will happen, and it's all in how the company deals with the issue. And within three business days, I received the plate post for the Abcor. It is standard, and I can't stand one inch plate posts. Unfortunately, my Olympic sleeve adapters won't bolt onto the post, but luckily, the Iron Master plates fit perfectly. With the new plate post attached, which is slightly longer than the Titan post, and the band attached, I find myself very happy with how the machine effectively hits my abs. Another nice feature is the seat can be adjusted left and right to target the obliques. All the motions feel fantastic and super effective as the lower body and upper body converge. The seat is comfortable, the handle's placement feels perfect, and the machine feels very stable. There is a 50 pound weight limit on the post, but I feel confident it can handle a little more than that. 
So here's what I think about this machine. First, it is very fun to use. Prior to getting this machine, I didn't train abs very often, but now that I have this machine, I always look forward to training my abs. I also like that I don't have to get down on the floor and I don't have to tax my upper body in the same way that I did when I was using the VKR. The footprint is incredibly small, which makes it perfect for my bonus room, and it's light enough to move, but not so light that it feels cheap. For being a residential machine, it feels like it's at the top end of residential grade quality. So why would I review a machine for a company that is out of business? Well, if you can find this machine on Marketplace for less than $500, I would run to get it. If you can find the total ab core for less than $1,000, I would run to get that also. I know that I paid way too much for this machine at $1,415, especially when the MSRP was $899. However, I have nobody to blame but myself because I wasn't informed enough when I made this purchase. If I would have gotten the total lab core for $14.15, I would have been completely happy. And I understand that Fitness Equipment Empire is a company with employees. They probably have quite a bit of overhead and they have to make some money. I just wish I wouldn't have paid so much for this machine. Thanks everybody for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. If any of my videos or reviews have helped you, please consider using one of the affiliate links in the description of this video. Some of those links can save you some money. And remember, if your equipment lacks, I got the hacks. Take care, everyone. Here's a quick update of my bonus room. I still have the arms off of the Rogue Echo Bike because I need to move it downstairs for my wife to use after her hip surgery. And I'm going to move the Powertech Hyper Crunch out of that corner and the ab core into that corner. I'm using the furniture sliders, which makes this a lot easier. Here is the ab core's permanent home and it goes pretty well with the height of the ski erg. If you can find this machine or the total lab core for a good price, of course it's gonna be on the used market. I highly recommend you get either one of them. Thanks for watching everyone.